Hi everyone, this is Sultan with Rex Theme, and what you're looking at is a virtual tour created using WPVR. Now this tour has all the features implemented that the plugin can offer. For example, this is a hotspot where I've linked to a website. Uh, then I've used on hover content to view text on most of the hotspots. Uh, here I used a GIF image as on hover content. Uh, then this hotspot you can click to get a video. Great, right? Uh, next, there is a hotspot where you can click to go to a different scene. And I've used on hover images on most of the hotspots here. Now, why am I showing you this? Basically, this will be the start of a series of short videos where I'll be explaining each and every features of the plugin one by one. Uh, so that when you follow these videos, eventually, you'll be able to create virtual tours such as what you're looking at right now. Or maybe even better. Who knows? So let's get started. Now the first thing to do when creating a virtual tour is to add scenes. And by add scenes, what we mean is uploading your 360 panoramic image and turning it into a scene of your tour. Uh, so since you're watching this video, we assume you have already installed and activated the plugin. So what you do is go to your dashboard and under WPVR menu, click on add new tour and this will take you to the page where you can start creating a virtual tour so now uh, first thing to do is to give it a title i'll just name it demo uh, you can see a lot of features here but the first thing you should do is directly go to the scenes tab and upload your 360 panoramic image that is the first step to creating a virtual tour so let's say i'm selecting this one uh, then you have to assign a scene ID, let me assign it 0001 and I'll assign it as default. Basically to create a virtual tour, you need to have at least one scene with a panoramic image and you need to set at least one scene as default. So ideally what we do is uh, whichever scene we want to view at first, we upload it at first and assign it as default. All right. Uh, now you can scroll down and click on preview. and you can get a preview of the tour on the right side. As you can see, I can already navigate it in the preview. All right. Uh, now, if you have multiple scenes you want to use on a tour, you can add another scene by clicking on the plus button right here. Uh, this will give you a blank scene where you can start uploading an image. So let me just upload one now. And you need to assign it an ID. And we have already assigned the first scene as default, so you don't have to do it for this one. Now if you click on preview again, you will see that there is a thumbnail added for this scene. If the thumbnail is here, you know that the scene has been added. So now if I double click on this one, I can view that scene uh, on the preview. All right. So in this manner, you can add multiple scenes if you want to. Now for every scene you can see, there are certain uh, fields on the right side. So these are basically uh, options to customize each and every scene individually. Uh, uh, you can add a title to the scene. Let me add one right now. Uh, you can add an author. Let me just name it my company's name. And you can add an URL to link to the author. So let me just link it uh, to my website. So now if I preview this, you will see that there is a title and an author name attached to this. All right. Now, these are certain options you can use to do further customizations, such as a vertical angle of view and horizontal angle of view are used in creating partial panorama. Uh, a limit vertical scene grab and limit horizontal scene grab options are used to limit visitors from moving up and down or left to right on the tour. Uh, you can use the customized scene zoom option to uh, limit a person from zooming in and out up to a certain point or you can set a default zoom uh, for the tour when it loads. Uh, the C set default scene phase is an interesting option where you can actually decide which will be the default phase of the scene when it loads. So let's say this is my first scene and I want the tour to start by looking at this direction. So I'll just click over here uh, you can see there are certain coordinates over here called peach and your this is the coordinates that indicates what point I'm clicking on so let me just copy the pitch and I'll paste it in this field and let me just copy the your 
and I'll paste it in this field. Uh, so these are coordinates I'm using as set default scene phase option with which I can decide which face uh, will the scene load with. So if I preview this uh, tour, you can see it started with this face. Uh, now let me turn it and let me click on preview again and you'll see the tour is always starting with this face. So that's what this is for. So that's it. Uh, now the best thing about scenes is that if you have at least one scene in the tour, this tour is eligible to be embedded on your website right away. You can just publish it and embed the tour on a website. Uh, all the other features you can use to customize the tour, but as long as you have a scene and you have assigned it a scene ID and set it as default, this is already a virtual tour. You can publish this and embed it on your website if you want to. Now in my next few videos, I'll explain the other features such as some features in the general settings and the hotspot. So uh, keep watching.